this is Fred Beck from Fred Talks Fighting. I'm in Newcastle today, joined by KSI. It's been a little bit of time. We had a good time in Dublin, and yeah. here we are in Newcastle. Dublin was sick, man. I, I still have the best feeling in my heart from that event, man. It was just so good. But yeah, Newcastle, I mean, Newcastle is always good to us, man. we we got a huge card here. I'll work against that savage. Oh my God, she is. She's not okay. <laughs> There's something wrong with her. But, uh, yeah, she she packs a punch, man. I've seen her BKFC highlights. She's a dangerous motherfucker, man. And, uh, yeah, it'd be cool to see what what Elbrook can do to her. But um, also the light, heavy, light heavyweight um, tournament. I mean, yeah, that first Batista, man, is hilarious, by the way. But uh, Idris, man, I think he, he might do some damage uh but then if uh chris avia wins his next fight chris avia versus idris whoo, that is gonna be fireworks nate diaz watching from the side oh my god man that's gonna be crazy man yeah all the cards all the fights sorry are, are pretty good uh big tobes mm. this is um kells Kells, yeah, Kells. Uh, yeah, man, that kicked off at the way in today. Yeah, man, exciting. Ten fights tomorrow night. That's the second. The, only the prime card had more fights than this one. So yeah, it's actually yeah. stacked tomorrow. Holy shit, yeah, yeah. It's a, oh my god, bro, you can't. This for non pay per view as well, man. Bro, we we feeling you, off. It is a definite stat card for sure, which is good to see as well. Um, let's talk about this then. Obviously, in Dublin, you had a good time performing. Mm. Did you enjoy the performance more than you enjoyed fighting in the ring? No. Which do you reckon you prefer? No. Fighting is still up there. No, I, like, it's weird. Like, I was performing, but I was, when I think when I was commentating, I was there like, oh, I really want to be in that ring. <laughs> but uh, when I was performing, it was great. You know, it's, especially when I'm, performing new music it's sick it's always cool just to like see see the audience see the vibe you know get that energy up and whenever i do shows especially like concerts that find center like it's always sick like the energy is like no other but it's it's in its own lane the energy it's always sick like but when in terms of boxing especially when you train for a fight and then actually fight and then win it's that is just another euphoric feeling that you can't explain so you can't recreate yeah yeah it's 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 hard to man it's hard there isn't really many things that can reach i don't think there's anything that can reach that point mm. i think that's it this is the only thing <laughs> that has that point but but me you have to work for that <laughs> yeah back in the gym um you've been back in the gym consistently though yeah, bro, three four I, times a week. I three four times a week, bro. I train twice a day. Oh really? Okay, so it twice is. a day, every day, man. Twice a day, every day, except for Sundays, which is once, uh, and that's a ten k. I can tell you've been training. You've always got abs of you, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Albert called me skinny. I was like, oh, f this f mother. <laughs> no, no. But I think because I, I just, I'm just in shape. But it's like. I, it's crazy because, like, last year, I was in shape, but I was so light. Like, I was, like, 175, and I was struggling to get to the, you know, weights I wanted to get to. Whereas now, uh, do I want to say? Nah, nah, I won't say what. Your, your PR guy's checking over this. Yeah, yeah, Harry yeah, is, yeah. Man. I won't say what weight I'm at, but. I'm at a nice weight. I'm at a very nice weight. And I'm still able to be fast and uh, agile. But I'm also strong. And also, I can take a shot as well, man. Oh, my God. I sparred Idris a few weeks ago. And I was like, bro, like, have you got weaker? Is that mean? No, no, <laughs> He's got no. a fight to prepare for. He's fighting in the tournament. No, no, no. no and you, no, give him, no. you give him a massive confidence boost by saying, Idris, you got weaker? No, nah, but it's because whenever I'm normally fighting him, bro, especially at the weight I used to be at, bro, he hit me, I'm there, my head's still ringing. I'm like, oh, man, this is long. 
I'm there bouncing my life away. Whereas now, bro, I can take a shot and eat it and just come through with bigger shots. So, bro, like, for me now, I've really, like, worked into the weight that I wanted to be at. And now I'm able to do the cut that all these boxers do. Like, I've never done a weight cut in my life. So now I can actually do one, which is sick. And I can reap the benefits and show all these more how it's truly done in the ring. So moving on then, opponents-wise, yeah, it'd be early next year. You'll be out. Yes. Who have you got in your mind? I think you haven't got an opponent yet, but who's on the radar yeah, for you? Um, I don't want to say. Uh, just anyway, I say it's a headline, but there's people you know on the radar. Conor McGregor, Mayweather, there's people, Masvidal. There's people. There's people on the radar, man. Look, anyone I fight. It's going to be huge and it's going to excite the people. And I want to show my improvements. I want to avenge this loss. Because, <laughs> you know, like for me, I'm a type of guy that, you know, it's, it still burns me that, you know, I have an L on my record. So I want to I wanna rectify that. I'm not going to just retire. That's just not the type of person I am. I'm a guy that has to avenge my loss. So one day, I'm going to f*** that motherfucker up, Tommy Fury. I'm going to get him, best believe, and I'm going to destroy him. And then I'm going to just fight all these other motherfuckers, man. How many fights do you reckon you've got left in you? As many as I want, really. I think it's, it's to do with me. It's just like how excited I get. Okay. If I'm there, like, you know, like I have a family and... I'm more focused on wanting to make sure, like, my kid or kids are good, you know, like, and that's where my focus is at. Then that, that's where my focus will be at. You know, everything is up to me. And a lot of people try to, you know, drive me this way, this way, this way, this way. Ultimately, I'm the one that decides. And when it's time for me to fight, I will say when it's time for me to fight. And when it's time for me to not fight, I will say. <laughs> So, yeah, um, right now, I'm excited to get back into the ring. Uh, I feel good. Uh, I'm just getting fitter, stronger, and uh, learning more new moves, learning new things. What's the newest thing you've learned? Uh, <laughs> uh, well, like, uh, okay, uh, switch stances. Right, it's boxing south for now. No, but, like, I, I've always known how to switch to southpaw but like the transition okay. being able to do well with that at will know what i'm talking about he does it a lot okay yeah okay, nice moving along in the gym um as well staying on the boxing topic though stars and misses boxing i know i asked you this question at the press conference but we definitely did see hs tiki talkie deliver huge numbers and then obviously making a lot of noise on social media mm. and being able to fight as well yeah. guys like hs you kind of look to kind of bring along the misses world you got hs danny aarons elbrook these are some pay for you stars right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the list will continue to go on because there's just more and more people who are just seeing Misfits and seeing what it's creating and wanted to join the community, wanted to be a part of it. Um, I think it's sick what happened with Misfit 17. It showed that it's not just, you know, YouTube boxing, it's crossover boxing, it's influencer boxing, you know, anyone from any field, um, music, uh, football, uh, sports, etc., whatever you want. We, you can hop on Misfits and become a star. Mm. Obviously, Danny Simpson coming across from the football side of things. Um, music, though. Getting back involved with the music. Your yeah. new song, The Thick of It, is releasing very, very soon. Well, what date is it coming out? For you, bro, I'm going to give you an exclusive. Mm? Just for you, an exclusive. That a lot of the fans are going to be gassed for. Right. And be like, why, why Fred? <laughs> 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 why does he get the exclusive? But uh, 4th of October. The 4th of October, the thick of it will be released. Yes, that's when I'm releasing it. Huh? We're doing low as well. Wow. The two singles coming out. Oh, damn. Even I didn't know about that. (laughs) (laughs) Damn, you getting two for the price of one? Uh, Damn. We giving them low as well? Wow. Okay. 
There we go. We get they're getting two songs, baby. I know, impressive. Damn, yeah, no, it's. I mean, Low has always been one of my favorite songs. Uh, I'd started, I started it back in 2021. Oh, it's been ages then. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's what I was in a low place there. <laughs> that's why it's called Low. Uh, yeah, yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> but uh, don't worry, I'm fine, guys. Especially those who look too much into the lyrics. They'll probably be like, oh my God, he is depressed but no i was just going through something at the time but you know life's about ups and downs and uh yeah think of it it's just me showing where i started from and where i'm going to baby mm. sounds pretty good then two songs coming out 4th october like, how long is uh, that you how- get it wow the exclusive is, <laughs> is thank you very much fred. man i appreciate it wow fred gets it <laughs> look at him he's gassed <laughs> You, all, all the well, Atlantic Records. What's that other one called? I don't know much about music. All the, uh, all the, the music. Labels. Yeah, all the record labels. Yeah. All itching. No, Fred was fighting. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, man. Um, to come all on, the radio things. stations. Yeah, five. Li- oh, not five live. That's some sports radio station. <laughs> BBC One. Yeah, BBC One Extra. Yeah, yeah, Radio One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kiss yeah. FM. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, now he's got it. <laughs> Capital. Capital. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there we go. That's all the uh, all the music publications are like. Right, we're never gonna let this guy ever interview. <laughs> a mu- never let this guy ever inter- interview a musician. Um, come off things when we leave off. Will Deji, your brother, box again this year? Yes. Will H S Tiki Toki box again this year? We're not too sure. All up in the air. Um, honestly, it's just uh, his opponents. They're just afraid. <laughs> so we're just trying to find an opponent that. We'll actually fight him. Mm. I know you, I think you said that Jake Paul and him could fight in a year and you'd be very confident in HS winning that. Mm. Do you still stand by those words and what, what makes you believe that? Yeah, I just don't think Jake Paul is very good at boxing. I just I, I just think he uses his weight to his advantage and that's about it. I think he, you know, even a good old fashioned right to the body, he's just not good at it. Like yeah. it's just, he's just technically shit. Uh, his stamina is shit. Uh, his weight is, you know, over bloated, and he uses that to his advantage. And I just, I don't know. His combos are just ass. I just his footwork is shit. But I just don't think he's a good boxer. But obviously, he's gonna fight all these people who aren't boxers, uh, and or you know, all these people who are boxers but are fifty plus years old, etc. Like that's that's his range he finds people who are just there and he takes advantage of it and as soon as he fights you know a real boxer that isn't 40 50 well that isn't 50 plus years old he loses so do you think the Mike Tyson fight happens I don't think Ale- I, I, mean, I saw Alexis about it and Alexis doesn't yeah, think it happens I, I really don't I don't want it to happen I don't think it happens but I don't want it to happen as well because it's going to ruin Mike Tyson's legacy man it's going to absolutely obliterate it. Because Mike the... Tyson is going to lose, but the general public don't understand. Don't understand it. They don't understand the boxing. They're just there like, oh, it's Mike Tyson. Of course he's going to beat Jake Paul. It's like, I like, I could beat Mike Tyson. Well, like, you had the Band of Holyfield offer thrown at you, yeah, and yeah, you guys I, turned it down. I said, no, it's because, bro, boxing is a young man's game. So, like, I know people, obviously people don't truly understand it, but, Mike Tyson is how old? Fifty plus, sixty, something like he, fifty-eight at the time of the fight. Yeah, I think he's he's not the eighteen-year-old Mike Tyson that was a killer. He is fifty-eight. People need to understand this. Age catches up with everyone. He is like worn out. He's been beat up. He is not active, <laughs> and he's finding someone who is active. He's finding someone who is going to use the weight, is going to hit him hard, and is going to rattle Mike. And he could even knock out Mike Tyson. And how, how's that going to look? You're going to get Jake Paul knock out this OAP in front of the whole world, in front of Netflix. And it, it's just going gonna, gonna to leave a disgusting taste in everyone's mouth. And it's just not going to be great. And then everyone's going to be like, how did we let this happen? Mm. 
And then his legacy is down the pan, bro. All the highlights of Mike Tyson, you know, knocking people out left, right, and center. Bro, no one's going to care because he got knocked out by Jake Paul. Mm. I don't want it to happen. As a fan, I don't want it to happen. I get it. I get Mike. Mike maybe needs some money or you know, maybe he's got a good deal from it. I don't know, but I just don't think it's a good idea. Mm, we'll see. I don't know. I guess it's all still up in the air. You only really know until five weeks starts and you see a few clips of Mike and see how it's looking. But, Every, uh, even the fight, when the fight was getting close and then it got uh, pushed back, you saw the clips. It, after two seconds, it would cut. You see the cl another clip. Two seconds, it would cut. Another clip. Two seconds, it would cut. Bro, what do you think's happening in between those cuts? He's there breathing. Like, shit, man. Whew, I'm 58. I need to breathe. I need to take my time. All right, let's get another two minute, uh, two second highlight. Da -da! All right, let me breathe. Like, that's just, that's it. That's what they were giving us. And people trying to think like, yeah, man, this guy's a killer, bro. Stop. Stop, man. Please. <laughs> like, with Mike Tyson, he is a guy that is going to just be able to put in, what, 30 seconds of work in a three-minute fight for one round, I, I, I think he's then done. I mean, you saw the fight with him and um, uh, Holyfield. No, Mike Tyson Mike, for no, Roy no, Jones. No, Roy Jones. Yeah. It, it, it wasn't great. It wasn't great. It was. It, we weren't there like, holy shit, this is, this is boxing. We were like, ah, oh, this, this is really slow paced and kind of awkward to watch. Yeah. I know. I can understand your frustration. I can understand, well, and most boxing fans or the general public's frustration with it. Um, well, the general public just don't know. The general public don't know. They just think it's the same old Mike Tyson that's 18 year old Mike Tyson that's just going to go in and just blitz everyone. But then they're going to realize that it ain't. <laughs> it's definitely not. Mm. Well, it's funny. I, I was interviewing Jeff Merver, and I know you worked back in, back in the day. Yeah, and yeah. he believes Mike Tyson's going to win. We be, I made a bet of him. He's going to take me out. For, I, bet, I bet Jake's going to win. And he bet Mike. So now he's going to take me out for some food when uh, Jake wins. But he legit thinks that Mike's going to win. And he's part well, of the old. put some money on it. <laughs> the thing is, like, it, it's the easy. Oh, my God. Like, I would literally put. I don't even know where I can put this amount of money. But I would put six figures on Jake winning. Like, he, then just. Ease, bro, the easiest fucking money of my fucking life, bro. Well, the odds will probably be quite heavy to fair, though. What? Towards Jake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like yeah. 25 yeah. to 1. 50 yeah, yeah, 25 exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I know. Well, I'm looking forward to me or Jeff. <laughs> Shout out Jeff Merver. But no, JJ, as always, I do appreciate it. Anything yeah. else come for yourself in the near future? Uh, Outside of the boxing and music uh, world? Well, I'm uh, busy, busy, busy. I've got an exciting thing with... Um, can't say. Oh, nice. Can't oh, say. Sounds really exciting. Sorry. No, I can't say that as well. There's exciting times. Exciting yeah. times. Yeah. Cool, yeah. Some cool you'll, stuff happening towards the end of the year. There'll be headlines. I'll be on in headlines. Okay, nice. Yeah, yeah quite a few times. All right, okay. Yeah. I look forward to it. I, there's, Abs, there's literally nothing I can say. Oh, yeah, nice. yeah. Yeah. But holy shit, yeah, you, you're, you're going to be seeing me a lot. All right, nice. Yeah. Um, the Simon and Charity match that's every two years now. No, no, it's it's it was meant to be every year, but we decided to give it a break because we wanted to do Wembley next year. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's what we're working on. I think in no, I don't want to say what month, but some sometime next year. Okay, nice. I was, was yeah, odd thought of my brain, but yeah, JJ as always. Thank you very much, man. Pleasure is all mine. Thank you, Fred. Enjoy the exclusive, <laughs> and. Uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. And, Take uh, care we'll do a link in the description for you can pre-save your new song. New songs. Yes. Boom. Perfect. <laughs> Very nice. Give me the oh yeah. Actually, we'll do one more thing then. What's <laughs> this? <laughs> <laughs> um. So when you get married, eventually to your girlfriend. Oh, for God. <laughs> um. When you eventually get married. Yeah. And you have your trainers at the wedding. All uh, I need. All I need to say is marry us. Oh, so, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know.
was no, I get it. No, no, he was. Meant, marry, no, marry no, he was. Ex. He was meant to say, mm-hmm. right? When you get married, you won't have to worry about finding someone to officiate your wedding because you could get your coaches. Because all you would have to say is Marios. Oh, okay. <laughs> you didn't get the abs one. You get the abs one either. You know what I was like? Oh yeah. You're in good. You got. You've got abs of you the whole time, and you're like, of course I'm skinny, Fred. Of course I'm skinny. Okay. Yeah. You missed it. You were like, yeah. Whenever you're ahead. All right. Can I leave now?